Play News You Can Use today. We're going to talk a little bit about California Senate Bills 9 and 10. And you guys have heard me talk about how California goes. Typically, the rest of the country will go at some point in time. And there are two bills uh, at the legislature level uh, here in California. We have kind of like the federal, we have a Senate that we call an assembly. Federal has a Senate and a, a House of Representatives. Our assembly um, does the same kind of function that the House of Representatives does on a federal level, and the Senate kind of controls the purse strings like it does on a federal level. Anyway, there's two um, two two deals, uh, two bills in the Senate currently, and they're they're ostensibly designed to alleviate the crowding problem here in California. In other words, there's not enough houses, not enough affordable houses. I don't know how they're going to make this thing happen. You guys have heard about, uh, we talked about this a couple of months ago, where California is starting, I think, next year, wants to own 40% and put up 40% of the money for first-time home buyers. They also want to own 40% of the house. Um, this is the next newest thing. And what they're going to do is uh, they're trying to make it also illegal to uh, what we call red line. So you have very rich, fancy areas like Newport Beach and some there's, there's a number of coastal areas here in California. And typically there's no affordable housing in those communities. And what they want to do is basically make that illegal, um, that there can be affordable housing in every community. You can't just as a community outlaw affordable housing. And they do these things by voting rules in that say, you know, house can't be under $800,000 and different things, different zoning things and all that. Anyway, the Senate bills nine and 10 are designed to wipe out a lot of the local legislature, local authorities, the county and city levels, decision-making power. And what they are trying specifically to do at the state level is to authorize any lot in California can be converted over to a 10 unit building. So this this could really invigorate our housing market, it could make it go through the roof, but it could be a disaster. So you have a really nice area, like let's say I keep picking on Newport Beach, but um, live right next to there in Huntington Beach. It's a beautiful area and there's these giant mega mansions there. Uh, in theory, if this bill passes, somebody could go in, tear down that house, get no approval, no zoning uh, variances, no nothing that they use to control, and put 10 small apartments uh, right in the middle of where these, you know, McMansions are looking out over the ocean. So it's going to be interesting if this happens. You have to, what I've read about it is you have to be able to use the existing utilities. In other words, whatever you've got there for water and power, uh, you have to be able to use those or with modest upgrades, but you're not going to have to go get any kind of variances, any permitting things that are special. It's just, I want to knock down this mansion and I want to put a 10 flex on it, a small, you know, go up vertically, that kind of thing. So um, if we pass it, expect it to see it in some of these other impacted areas, especially around the coastal regions of the United States, East Coast, Florida, Texas, uh, Northeast, uh, New England, that kind of thing. Uh, so you'll see that happen as well. So uh, once again, you know, newest thing from the land of fruits and nuts out here. And uh, we'll keep you guys surprised and tell you what's going on on that. But, uh, you know, look at, look at a 10 plex coming to your neighborhood soon. So it's going to be interesting. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and fire up on our questions here. I'm on my mobile phone today instead of my laptop because I'm in Northern California again. Um, and so you're going to have to tell me who's got their hand up and go ahead and Bring everybody on the board, Ashley. Okay. Um, so far, no one's been brave and raised their hand. Well, some. Hey, there we go. Hand. Michelle got it for us. Miss Roberts, uh, Ecuador, how are we doing there? Real quick before we go there, um, Rashad was asking a question on your news. You can use. Is that just in California or in different states? Right now, that's a bill before the California State Senate for California. So if it passes, and it probably will. Um, you know, it's going to be interesting. And the reason it probably will is because most of the southern counties in California, this would be San Diego, Los Angeles, Orange, San Diego, Orange, and Los Angeles going from south to north, have already passed the, they call it Granny Flat or an ADU. Technically, they'll call it an ADU add-on. So uh, ADU is additional dwelling unit. And they've made those things very, very easy to do. So a lot of people are bringing in 
tough sheds. I don't know if you guys know what tough sheds are, but you can see them all over the freeways here in California. Uh, these companies build these small 15 by 15 foot, kind of like a mini house, uh, or they have these tiny houses you see on TV. It's stuff like that. And they'll bring those in and plop them in their backyard, or they'll take their garage and convert it over to an ADU. Once again, it used to be called a granny flat, put grandma out there or mom out there. Um, and, you know, they're allowing people to do that uh, kind of at will. And it's worked out pretty well. It has alleviated some of the housing issues. It's caused some problems, some neighborhoods, but, you know, generally it's been well. So once again, using the, the California mentality of, you know, if two is good, 10 is going to be better. Um, that's what they're, they're looking at doing right now. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but right now, California only was shot. Not uh, New York, so we're okay for that uh, that state at this point in time. All right, let's go.